Greenhouse gas emissions from our food systems have increased by more than 10% in the last 30 years. Today, they account for about one third of all man-made global greenhouse gas emissions and include emissions of both carbon dioxide and methane, nitrous oxide and fluorinated gases. The average person's food consumption produces the emission of nearly two and a half tons of carbon dioxide equivalent per year. However, there are big differences depending on how people live. The food systems of those regions of the world with the lowest emissions per capita produce less than one tonne of carbon dioxide per person per year. While the food systems of the highest emitting regions produce more than five times as much. Land use and production are responsible for about 70% of the emissions of the entire food system. As countries develop, energy use, industrial activities and waste management increasingly determine the emissions from their food systems. It is clear that there is no one-size-fits-all solution and local differences in the effects of development and mitigation measures throughout the food chain will need to be understood. Nevertheless, solutions to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from food systems will need to include both instruments that reduce emissions throughout the food chain and also measures that help the citizen to adapt more informed and sustainable diets in industrialized regions, including Europe. The global food system will therefore need investments in energy efficiency and decarbonization technologies to reduce these emissions, in addition to land-based mitigation technologies, such as a more efficient use of fertilizers within and outside the farm gate. The European Union Farm to Fork strategy includes these aspects in order to reduce the environmental and climate impact of primary food production. We have analyzed the emissions from the different stages of food production to support the development of policy tools for the transition to a more sustainable and informed consumption pattern. Moderate consumption of animal-based foods is already part of some national food-based dietary guidelines. Effective policies to transform food systems towards sustainability need to be comprehensive and provide answers for both economy and consumers with adequate information. We need transparent, robust data to understand the complexity of our food systems. The completeness of the Edgar Food Database is therefore an important asset for monitoring global food system emissions as part of integrated mitigation strategies.